Hello and welcome to my channel, where I do guides for photography. Today we are inside Darktable 3.9.0. Uh, this guide works for 3.8.0 or 3.8.1 as well, and probably previous uh, versions as well. Uh, today we are going to develop this image, uh, but I want to remove this. This looks uh, pretty unprofessional in my opinion. Yeah, we should just get started. I won't lift the exposure here, but I'm just gonna, uh, yeah, I'm gonna start with the crop actually. So I want to do a two by one universum and I just want to place this dog a little bit more into the thirds, I think, but not too much over there. I, I'm not going to place the intersection here on the eye. Uh, that really doesn't work when the dog is lying down because uh, <laughs> the dog, the behind of the dog would be all the way out there. So I'm just going to balance that uh, crop just around there, I think. I think that works fine. Maybe pull in just a bit here as well. So, yeah, something like that. So the eyes of the dog is actually in the thirds uh, on this line. So that's good. If you don't have these uh, guides when you're doing crops, so simply click on this uh, checkbox and you will get the guide there. And you can even set up what kind of guides you want to have. All right. So to apply the crop, I'm simply clicking on that title. And let me just uh, do a snapshot now. And let's remove that for now. And yeah, the first thing we should do is to go into Filmic, I think, and maybe do something about the white point here. So I want to stretch this uh, histogram out just a bit. And let's see the black point. So yeah, let's push it more over here. And that's fine. I'm now going to do a new instance of exposure and I'm going to lift the exposure a bit there. So I want to try and spread out and balance the histogram as much as we can before we start doing other stuff here. All right, so I think that's good. We can do some local contrast. and That looks good. Let's do the corrections right away. So. I'm going to denoise lens correction, chromatic aberration, and I'm even including haze removal. And I'm just going to go back and lift the exposure just a little bit more there. So somewhere around there, I think it looks fine. So we could use the tone equalizer to try and uh, contrast uh, between some of the details here, but uh, yeah, let's just do that. So I'm activating this and let's go for masking. And yeah, I think it looks nice around there. We can also activate the mask overlay or display exposure mask and you will see where the mask is applied. So yeah, we are not going to do anything about the dog, but maybe we should darken this. The greens here just a bit and let's remove the mask and I think that an improvement yeah so we are going to leave it there for now let's go into the color and we are going for color balance RGB and I'm just going to lift the shadows a bit under perceptual brilliance grading so you don't really need to use the shadows highlights module uh, that works as well but uh, in this case uh, i can lift the shadows really a lot so i don't need to use anything else than the color balance rgb and maybe i want to go down on the midtones just a bit yeah to something like that and I can drop the highlights if I want to do that, or even increase the highlights. I'm just not sure if we got details here. Uh, let me check that. So yeah, we need to 
there we are that's fine all right so that's so far uh, we need some contrast and I want to really have some true contrast here so I'm going to pull that up quite a bit and then we might need to drop the highlights again let's just check here yeah so we are crushing some blacks here but I don't really care uh, not not right now anyways all right so let's uh, try and remove this cord uh, and it's going to be a bit of a challenge and we need to select the right tools to do this uh, we can have it on uh, healing tool or we can try the cloning tool and I'm going to do this with path so let's try the we can try the healing tool first it might not work but we can try it and I'm going to click on the path there and I'm just going to do the entire chord and just click around it I could do this part first and then the second part later but we are going to try and just do it with the uh, one uh, mask here whoops yeah let's uh, see there let's just hit that and as you can see we are doing a healing here and it doesn't work perfectly you can see the result yourself but we can use the clone tool to try and fix that and yeah uh, we can also go and change this a little bit so something like this and it actually doesn't look uh, bad so let's stay with that so Let's just see what we did now. So we removed that cord and the image right away. It looks uh, quite <laughs> like an improvement because or more professional, in my opinion. This uh, cord there, it's really ruining uh, the image. Uh, right away, I'm focusing on this cord. So that's the reason why I want to remove it. Uh, just going to try and remove most disturbances we can. So that's the reason why we are doing it like this. So let's activate the retouch again. And we can try and clone uh, and fix it with the clone tool. So let's do that. So I'm going to activate the cloning tool here. And we are going to use a brush. And we are probably going to use more and then one brush so we are holding down the control key while clicking on the brush tool and this gives this little thing here <laughs> and to set the size you simply scroll with your mouse wheel but to set the hardness the feathering you hold down the shift key as you scroll with your mouse wheel and I think for this image, maybe a feather, a nice and not hard edge would uh, do, do well for this image. So I think we need to fix some stuff over here. So I'm going to source uh, about around here. So I'm holding down the shift key and I'm doing one single click. Now we have the source point over here. And I'm simply going to start and paint that uh, in like this. And it might uh, look terrible. <laughs> we will see now. Yeah, and that's, uh, to me, that's fixed. And I want to get rid of this. Oops. Yeah, that worked fine. <laughs> and this one. And you can see that we weren't to... That source wasn't too good for that detail. So we are going to do a new source point and try and just fix that so it looks a bit better. And let's do a source point up here. And it's never going to be 100% perfect, but you can uh, really improve the image with uh, 
the clone tool. The clone tool is actually quite uh, nice inside Dark Table, and the healing tool as well. It's really, uh, yeah, it's really good. If I compare to other tools like uh, maybe Luminar, it's uh, then it's really good. We have a lot of options here, so they've done a really good job with this one. Okay, so we can add, for example, a new path and try the healing tool again and go around this pole. So we go up to around here and simply click around it and to maybe down there and do a right click and we can move the source around like that. And to me that looks good. Let's see, how was that again? Yeah, like that. So yeah, it looks pretty good actually. I'm uh, happy about that. So let's just finish this image. I wanna add some more contrast because it's really flat now. And I think we are going to do, let's do it in the filmic actually and go to look and let's see. What happens if we increase the latitude? Yeah, it's not doing much actually. But let's add some contrast. And that looks a bit better. And let's just finish this off with some linear chroma grading. I'm going to add just some global and some in the highlights. And let's... Uh, go in to this <laughs> and we are going to do a vignette I'm a sucker for vignette I can't help it I put a vignette on on a lot of images that I'm doing uh, I don't really know why I just think it looks good let's increase the fall of strength let's take a look yeah that looks pretty good to me and i'm pretty happy about it but i do think we have a problem with the highlights so yeah i'm just going to increase the fall of strength just a little bit more so we need to fix that highlight so let's go into tone equalizer and i'm just going to place the cursor on the dog head and scroll with my mouse wheel down so I don't want to clip uh, the fur on the head. So just don't mind the other clipping warning hairs. Uh, it doesn't really, yeah, it matters. But uh, this is for online. It's not for printing. So I don't really care if we are crushing blacks. To me, uh, it just needs to look good online. And I think I'm actually going to lift the shadows just a little bit more here to somewhere around there. And that looks good to me. It actually does. So uh, we probably recovered some of the blacks as well. Not all, but yeah, some of it. <laughs> yeah, and now I would uh, simply do dodge and burn and try and lift the shadows. Uh, a bit here get some more details back we could try of course with a tone equalizer but we might not have anything over there yeah we do so let's try and recover some of that and of course when doing this we are actually removing contrast again and making the image flat but yeah something like that and let's just Drop that a bit. All right, I think that's it for this image. I just wanted to show how to try and recover or <laughs> remove uh, stuff inside Dark Table, and especially using the retouch tool and the path here. So this one, add path, and that works uh, really great in my opinion. And uh, I think Darktable did a really good job here. Maybe we should have a, 
add some more feather to this path, but uh, yeah, uh, we could clean up this and this with the clone tool. It wouldn't be too difficult to do actually. And maybe remove this and this and try and fix the uh, contrast a bit better. I don't think it's uh, really all that great right now. <laughs> But it wouldn't be too difficult, actually. So, yeah. Uh, that's it for this image. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to watch more from me, hit that subscribe button. And if there's anything you want to ask me about Dark Table or anything else, uh, hit the comments and I'll answer as uh, soon as I see your comment. Uh, thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you again. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.